let's look at how to configure EIGRP over IP version 6 with static route redistribution. So I have a set of routers right here. I'll look at my first router right here. I show my IPv6 route command and I can see which routes I currently have. And you can see there is a static route right here. There's no routing protocol in place, but there is a static route. What I want to do is configure the EIGRP routing protocol and then add that static route into it. I can go verify over on the other router, right next door, show IPv6 route, and I can see that there is no static route in here at all. So how do I go about doing this? Well, first of all, I need to configure the routing protocol. So I go into global configuration mode. I need to turn on my IPv6 unicast routing because that needs to be turned on in order to allow any devices to actually route. So we need that on. And for IP version 4, unicast routing is turned on by default, so you don't need to worry about that. Now I need to go in and configure my IPv6 version of the EIGRP protocol. So I do IPv6 router EIGRP, and I pick an AS number, and that will be 10. Inside of this, I need to give it a router ID and then turn on the routing service. So the router ID is a IP version 4 style IP address. So I do EIGRP router ID and I do 1.1.1.1 and I do no shutdown. That will activate the protocol, but there are no interfaces yet on that protocol. So I exit out and I go and add my interfaces. I can see that I have three interfaces, G00, G01, and G02. So I'm going to go in and add each one. Int G0 slash 0. And then I type in my IPv6 EIGRP 10 to add this interface to part of AS10. Do the same thing with interface G01 and G02. All right, at this point, I am starting to send out information to all my neighbors telling them I want to set up a friendship, a adjacency neighbor relationship. Now I click on my next router over here and this one we can see no static routes. If I had run this show IPv6 route command again, nothing there. So now I need to go in and conf t. I'm going to configure the routing protocol again. So I do IPv6 unicast routing to make sure I can actually route. And then I do IPv6 router EIGRP. And my AS number has to be the same number as the other router, it was AS10. And I do a router ID, EIGRP router ID. It cannot be the same, so I'll do a bunch of twos. And no shutdown. All right. At this point, I can go and add my interfaces. So I look at this router and I can see that I'm connected to G00 and G01. So I'm going to go add those interfaces in. Here's the G0 slash 0, IPv6, and this is EIGRP AS10. And you can see suddenly it forms an adjacency. And then I go into the 01 interface and add that one as well. And then all the information gets blasted through and we're ready to go. So I exit out. And now I'm going to look at my routing table. Show IPv6 route. And I can see that I have received routes from EIGRP. So two different routes have come across right here. And that's great. Um, but I don't see anything about my static route. So I'll go back over to the other side. And in here, I'm still in this uh, inter interface, so XL interface. Go back in my router mode. So IPv6 router EIGRP 10. And then I want to redistribute my static routes. Redis redistribute static. That will then take this static route and pull it into the routing protocol. It will be imported so it's not the same thing as if it were a natively connected route. 
and it won't show up the same. It'll show up as an external EIGRP route. So I go over to the other side and show IPv6 route, and suddenly you see there's a new route that appears. This is my external route, so it's my X EIGRP external, and you can see it is out to my default gateway, and that is how I get out. And that is how to redistribute routes in IP version 6 with EIGRP.